Hello, Glass Industry! It's Mark from Glass Open Book. Have you ever thought that one day your mobile phone will be able to calculate a complete list of important properties and components of the glass that you plan to melt? Welcome, everybody, to the wonderful world of industrial digital tools, and today I am lucky to present you one. Alright, the app. Well, actually, it's much more than just an app. It's a powerful calculating engine that takes advantage of the fast processors that we find in today's smartphones. It was developed by the Polish company For Glass, a technology company that is specializing in the design and construction of glass furnaces and batch plants for producers of all types of glass, including container, tableware, float and fiberglass. They know exactly how work is done at the batch plant and they understand how technologies calculate raw materials for the batch and that young technologies who just start their careers at the glass plants are just the beginners in using those Excel tables for calculations and might find them difficult. It was so until Dr. Marian Klisch, who is the head of R&D department at Four Glass, came up with an idea. We all carry a phone in our pockets, right? Even at work. So why not to use it as an industrial calculator? We've had a call with Dr. Klisch recently and he told me about the app and the fundamental work behind the development. So now I will try to show you its main functions. So let's open the app and we are greeted by the starting page. Here we can see the batch calculation itself, calculation history, uh, vocabulary, which may come in handy, and the about section, in case you will need to contact the company. I can't wait to start the calculation. As we click batch calculation, the app lets us choose what glass color we want to achieve. And let's go for the olive glass, as it's the rarest and most difficult to produce, as far as I know. Now we need to put in some data and, as you can see, there are some default figures that are taken from the experience of the company. Though, if you're an advanced technologist and you have other techniques and working habits, you can change almost all the parameters, uh, raw materials used or chemical composition of glass. I love how smart the application is. Whenever I input the numbers that are inadequate or impossible, it will let me know, and so you can't go wrong here. We have finished our data input and now I press Start Batch Calculation. Let the magic happen. Boom! Now we have the calculated weight of chosen raw materials for one ton of glass. What is also good is that when calculating the proportions of individual raw materials, the app takes into account not only the given chemical composition, but also the batch redox number necessary to obtain the expected color of glass and optimize the amount of sulfates, taking into account the needs of finding and sulfur trioxide saturation concentration in the glass of the given color after forming. Aside from that, in the final results, the app shows us the information about technological and physiochemical properties of the glass, which can be super important for designing temperature profiles, for melting, fusing, tampering, annealing, optimizing the furnace's thermal power requirements from combustion space and boosting, as well as furnace geometry. And that's it. We have all the data precisely calculated right on the smartphone. Now you can save the calculated results and do the work. I haven't experienced any stability issues with the app during testing. You are quickly getting used to the app's architecture and where things are located. It is super quick and simple to use and don't forget that saved seconds become minutes and minutes turn into hours, which is extremely important on the plants where tons of glass are produced every hour. And yes, the app is available for Android and iOS. I will leave the link to App Store and Google Play down below. If you have any questions regarding the app, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And I wish you all the best. Goodbye.